Find the equation of the line of intersection and the angle between the planes 2x minus y plus 3z is equal to 2 and 4x plus 2y minus z is equal to 4. If we have a look at this first of all using GeoGebra, okay, so we can see one plane here and one plane here, and we can see a line of intersection here. If you click here, you will see the normal vectors and actually if you click here you actually see the normals here you can see the two normals here so here is one normal and here is the other normal okay if you find the angle between the normals you'll find the angle between the two planes okay and here is the equation of the uh, vector equation of the line and we can see the value of the angle theta however it's better to look at this in 3D view. Let's just have a quick look at it in 3D view. So if you put your glasses on, you can see the plane in three dimensions. Okay, and you can see very easily that they actually meet on a line here. Okay, and if we, I don't know why that's disappearing, but you can see the normal of the two, uh, of the two planes, and therefore, if you can see the normal of the two planes and find the angle, this angle here, you, you, if you find that angle there, you're finding the angle between the two planes. Okay, so that's what, what we're trying to do. So two planes meet on the line, and to find the angle between the two lines, we need to find the angle between the two vector, two normal vectors. So there's a 2D drawing there. So what I'm saying is you need to find this angle here between the two normals. Right, so if you first of all write the equations of the plane into normal vector form, that's quite easy. So plane 1 is 2x minus y plus 3z is equal to 2. And then if you get r dot 2 minus 1, 3. 2 minus 1, 3 is equal to 2. We'll call, this is the normal one. This one here. Let's write that on our diagram. And then plane normal 1. And then plane 2 will be is 4x plus 2y minus z is equal to 4. And therefore, r dot four two minus one four. That is n two. And therefore, the orange plane here, the orange one here, is r dot four two minus one is equal to four. And this vector here is four two minus one. Right. What we need to do is find a vector which is in the same direction on the line. So if we find the cross product of the two normal vectors, we'll get the directional vector of the line, because the line is perpendicular to the two normal vectors. And that's the geometrical property of the cross product. So two planes intersect on the line L with directional vector V, and V can be found by doing the cross product of the two normal vectors another type of diagram. So M1 is 2 minus 1, 1, and N2 is 4, 2 minus 1. So V will be equal to the cross product of M1 times N2. So make your I, J, K. Write down the first vector. 2 minus 1, 3. 4, 2 minus 1. You remember you cross off this one. You do minus 1 times minus 1, minus 3 times 2. Next one's always minus, and then you cover up that one, and then you have to do 2 times minus 1 minus 3 times 4, and then for the k you cover up that one and you do 2 times 2 minus, minus 1 times 4k. So that's going to give you 1 minus 6i, 2 minus 12j. 4 plus 4k, which is going to give me minus 5i plus 14j plus 8k. 
so the directional vector of this line here is going to be minus 5, 14, 8. We now have to find a point, so we only need one point, so we're going to put z equal to 0, but you could put x equal to 0, or y is equal to 0, and then find solve these two equations without z in them. So it's 2x minus y is equal to 2, 4x plus 2y is equal to 4, so that's equation 1, equation 2, 1 times 2 plus 2, so we're going to multiply this by 2 and then add them together. It's going to give 8x, because that would be 4x plus 4x, which is 8x, 2y minus 2y and 2y will disappear. It's going to be equal to 8, so x is equal to 1. Substitute back and you're going to get that y has to be equal to 0. You can see that straight away. You put 1 in there, 2 minus y is equal to 2. And therefore, if you take the 2 over to the other side, you're going to get minus y is 0, so y is equal to 0. So a line passes through the point 1, 0, 0, 1. So 1, 0, 0. So the vector equation of the line is r is equal to 1, 0, 0 plus lambda minus 5, 14, 8. This is the point. This is the directional vector of the line. Well, if you write it in Cartesian form, so it's going to be x minus 1, x minus 1 over minus 5, y minus 0 over 14, z minus 0 over 8. So this is the Cartesian form. For the angle, we need to find the angle theta between the two normals and that gives you the angles between the two lines so we need to find the use the scalar product of these two vectors here so cos theta is going to be the scalar product of m1 dot n2 over the magnitude of m1 and the magnitude of n2 so cos theta is going to be equal to 2 times 2 2 times 4 sorry minus 1 times 2 so it's 2 times 2 minus 1 times 2 and plus 3 times minus 1 divided by the square root of 2 squared plus minus 1 squared plus 3 squared and the square root of 4 squared plus 2 squared plus minus 1 squared be very careful with the minus 1's so theta will be cos to the minus 1 of 3 over root 14 times root 21 which is going to give me an answer of 79.9 degrees. If we just take one more look back at the geology review in 3D, so you need to put your glasses on if you've got some 3D glasses. Okay, you can see very clearly the line here of intersection. Okay, and you can see line of intersection and the normal of that one there, the normal and the normal of that one there. Okay, if we turn it around we look at different angles. Okay, you can see the angle there between the, the two normals, which is the same as the angle between the two lines. Okay, so this has been a video to show you how to find the angle between two lines and to find the equation of the line of intersection.